easy to understand Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, you need to do study and research. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was certainly the first and last Prime Minister of undivided United India. Kangana is an excellent, brilliant actor. I appreciate her films. But before making a comment from the pages of history, she must study in depth. You see, to understand Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, you need to do study and research. Kangana did not complete her sentence. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was certainly the first and last Prime Minister of undivided United India. If Netaji would have returned to our country in 1947, India would not have been divided. Bengal would not have been divided and cut into two pieces. So you must in totality state that Netaji was the first Prime Minister of undivided United India. I get the feeling that Netaji, who was a visionary, a political thinker, a soldier, is being used as a political tool in current day politics. This should not happen. Netaji was certainly in politics, but he was also much above politics. He could rise above petty politics. He could unite all communities as Indians. These are concepts which one should understand. What did Netaji stand for? Netaji stood for unity among people. Today what we find? All political parties are encouraging divisive politics, vote bank politics, communal politics. Netaji would have vehemently opposed this kind of politics. So Kangana is an excellent, brilliant actor. I appreciate her films. But before making a comment from the pages of history, she must study in depth to understand the heritage culture of India and also stalwarts and national icons like Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose.